never thought that I could be here in Washington DC, to be honest, but here I am. From the iconic Capitol building to the peaceful Arlington National Cemetery, DC has something for everyone. While we were in Boston, my wife and I had the opportunity to visit Washington DC for one and a half days. Our Delta flights from Boston to DC was easy and smooth, lasting about an hour and a half. It was interesting to see a service dog working at the security checkpoint in the airport queue. Very clever. Yeah. Really clever. Upon arriving at Reagan Washington Airport DCA, we took the train to the Capitol South Station. Our first stop was the Capitol Building, a symbol of American democracy. We walk around the back and walk through the summer house. This is the summer house. People to rest from that main building, especially if they have small seat here. Okay. How cool. Cool. People just come here, take photos, and I'm re video them, so it's nice. On the way to the Air and Space Museum, we stop at United States Botanic Garden. They just opened. That is lucky we go inside here. This looks like a mini. I'm, I'm not sure I didn't go whole area yet, how big it is, but I think in Singapore, much, much more bigger. And But what different is, here is free. You can get in, it's free, no charge. But if in Singapore, you have to buy tickets in there. Quite expensive, to be honest. So we are in the queue here. It seems uh, probably something special. Uh, can't wait to see it. What it is, that let guess. Quartz Which blooms very rarely. I feel like we are long here to watch the celebrities at some point. But if you smell it, like a dead body smell. That is why its name's Coke. That is what I've been told. Instead of walking, we could have rented bicycles or take a bus tour, but we prefer to walk and enjoy the views along the park. Unfortunately, we missed the Air and Space Museum. Basically, you have to have ticket to go inside the National Air and Space Museum, and you can scan the ticket over there, outside. It is free, what I said, but you have to have ticket to go inside. So we explore the National Gallery of Arts instead. Yeah, the art here is all the old art collection in the country, in the state. After walking around the town, it's very hot heat outside. It's good to get inside the building, feel the aircon and look around the beautiful architecture of the building, a very old building here. One thing when you came here in the art gallery, the official will ask you to wear one side of the back like this. Interesting for me, uh, probably about the security thing, but I'm not sure what's behind of that. I noticed many food trucks along the road. So this is where the food, I would call like in my country or other country in Asia is called street food, probably street food in America. They have like a lineup of trucks, food over here, which is you can buy after walk, explore around. So we decided to buy food from one. It's good choice actually. Um, so the price is the same price here, as you can see that classic cheese steak that we used to buy in Joma. It's very similar. This is probably the original one. Uh, we'll see the taste. And sat eating on the grass at the nest normal. To be honest. I prefer cheese steak in, in Joma, Vietnam. We spent the afternoon at the National Museum of Natural History, one of the most popular museums in DC. It's a little bit crowded compared with the Art Gallery Museum. Or to see the dinosaur and a you know, big trunk of elephant. And is it real? Yes. We then walked to the Washington Monument through the summer heat. We just sit here a little bit to relax, to get the energy, to get the power. And then we're going to go to the White House over there to meet Biden as if. I will continue through the cherry trees to the Thomas Jefferson Memorial, 
So this is the Along the way, oh, I even found money on the ground. Actually, someone uh, for money. Here we go. Two dollars. Two hundred dollars. It's a uh, cover our flight back to uh, Boston. It's lucky. We also passed by several significant memorials, including those dedicated to Franklin D. Roosevelt, Martin Luther King, and... Which is the name all the soldiers who sacrificed their life during the Vietnam War. That's why a lot of protest about the war, no war. War is not always good, you know. No one win. So this is the Lincoln mem Memorial. Uh, we are heading to... Look at that, the aeroplane. Here is how to serve the drink. Like they, they put the soft drink alongside the road here and people would just pick it up the brand and buy from them. So after a long walk from the heat, it's good to stop in the shade in the Lincoln Memorial here. The building is good and it's very good view to see the Washington <laughs> Monument over there. It's very beautiful. <laughs> View and people just sit here and watch over there. We ended up our first day by walking back to the hotel and passing by the White House. So there, as you can see, that is the White House over there. Before 9-11, uh, as you can see in the front, much better. But after 9-11, then they have more strict uh, the White House. Submit that not impressive as I thought. Mm. Interesting, the bag is a lot of different type of group here. Not even the good view, but of course is important area. And that is music, loud music. Our second day, we check out of the hotel. So we just stay here one night. It's around hundred dollars in the Royal Sonesta in DC. So it's around. 30 minutes walk to the Washington Monument. It's a nice hotel and it's big. And took the train to the roof, DC. Good to see one of the Gordon Ramsay restaurants over there. Then walk to the Air and Space Museum. Our final stop was Arlington National Cemetery. It's a solemn place where many military veterans are buried. Our trip to Washington DC was a memorable experience. We saw so many iconic landmarks and learn about American history. Thanks to my wife family for watching our kids while we were away.